What's going on guys, James here on Undefined Gamers, and today we have, you You can see right here, we have the reveal trailer for Call of Duty, Infinite Warfare, let's watch it and see how things go. Go ahead. Uh, you seen that? Unknown, unknown, unidentified settlement ships, you are moving into restricted situation. They just fire, they're fucking fire. Ah, this is a full blown invasion. Oh my god. And we are getting breaking news out of Switzerland. Geneva has suffered a massive attack. Death count continues to rise, and there's no end in sight. This is Top Cat Sovereign. Convert and deploy all available assets immediately. Holy shit. Let's get to the town. for this. We have no playbook for this. And apparently we have little time. Let me make our situation absolutely clear. We are now at war with the Settlement Defense Front. Godspeed, Captains. Legacy Edition to get Modern Warfare Remastered. We have it, the Call of Duty reveal trailer for Infinite Warfare. Man, this trailer really excited me because one, it it just it like it I don't even know how to explain it right now. <laughs> it seems more more like realistic. Seems like this Call of Duty is going to be more of like the seriousness that everybody was kind of like making fun of with Black Ops 3. How like with the, I think this map splash, how it's like, it's all like, it seems like all of like the multiplayer is like a funny game. It's about like this right here. We'll start off with this. So in this battle scene, we see him coming up right here. We see him call out, well, you got my music because I want to like override my voice, but he calls out, and then his hand moves, so I'm guessing we'll have, like, call-outs like we used to. I mean, that's never really anything new, but it seems like that might be coming back. And also, as well, the movement system seems more fluid, as it seems in that first-person perspective right there. Then I think the scene, next scene coming up is where the freaking man throws, he throws a grenade, and it seems like it's more of, like, the grenades have a bigger radius. Or at least that grenade does, I have no idea. But, yeah, this dude just about got squished by that big rolling thing. And then here we have it confirmed right here. 
and that what actually was weird is that car had like electrical static or like electricity from it so i don't know if that was from like what he was shooting or if that was from the car itself i don't know right here we have confirmed we are in space with jets and this is really freaking awesome it changes call of duty forever because like not even battlefront had um space battles and that's something that joseph was telling me which i'll pull up the screenshot of our chat right now and um just the other person that runs this channel with me and then it was it says f and uh, ah. he sent me the link and then it was i was like damn fighter jets and grappling hook and space battles something star wars battlefront doesn't even have but the laughing crying face but i was like it looks different in a good way because they knew they fucked up with ghosts you know a lot of people didn't really like ghosts it was just something that we didn't want and but yeah see even call of duty manages to have space battles right here but <laughs> i guess battlefront just doesn't have it but right here what really like this thing transformed right here like that's freaking i don't know if we'll have the ability to do that in campaign i don't know if it does automatically or what but like it just freaking like transforms it looks like it like a long like wing like a uav type looking thing and then it just transforms to a jet and then you know he's chasing them and get to use the gunners which is pretty freaking awesome so i'm not sure how much space battle we're gonna have but it also seems like we'll be fighting on ground as well so kind of keeps that aspect of it we definitely don't have any exosuits in this at all whether it's flying up high or the you know the little thrusters we get doesn't seem like we have any of that like they don't use it like they have these big packets but i'm pretty sure it's just because they're in space and the grappling hook right here snaps his neck or like snaps his head right off tears off his masks which is freaking oh my god like I feel like the mechanics for this game are going to be so much more better than they were in Ghost. And another thing I want to point out that's coming up right here is, right here, this explosion, and then coming up, they're, like with uh, Ghost, they had the dog Riley as a companion, so I'm wondering if they're going to have the ro this robot as a companion. Now, with Black Ops 3, it was like a lot of robot like warfare that we had, but with in with, like Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2 and 3, like... They didn't have any like like they didn't have any companions. They don't have any like you know they were all like modern, and this is more going into the future. But like it still seems like they're still trying to stick to just that modern aspect that we were used to in Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, you know. But it seems like we'll have that robot as like a help guide. I think he just sacrificed his life right there. I don't know. But then right here, we also have r robots that were fighting. So like we know there's not gonna be a lot of robot warfare probably, but. At least, I mean, at least they're implementing a little something here and there. Usually, we'll probably get the um, the uh, what's it called, the multiplayer trailer next, and then their extra mode trailer after that. So we're gonna look forward to looking at that. What's interesting is all this goes out to like all that warfare. In the beginning, it's like right here, it's like all like sad and stuff. Like then it gets to like the epic next, so we can see what's in the game, what what we can expect, and what we can um, what we can like just grip our minds on. Oops, skipped past that. But yeah, going back to that picture right here, it seems like there's gonna be a lot of close personal death with this because of all like the names and like this is like I think like the one of the few girls that's actually shown in this whole trailer. And the first girl I think was like injured in the beginning. And then we get to this, the Modern Warf Warfare Remastered Edition. Now, how many of you guys like personally I would have had Modern Warfare Two, like that was my favorite one. But I mean, I've played Call of Duty ever since, like, on GameCube. So, like, the first one, the second one, third. I played all of them. But, oh, whoops. Need to pause. But yeah, like, it shows a couple of the missions. Um, like, this is just, it just looks amazing on next gen. Hopefully, it's even more amazing to feel. Hopefully, it didn't change anything. Obviously, it's remastered. So, like, you know, the graphics are up to bit. And, you know, hopefully, it, it's as good as it as it was when it first came out um so tell me what you guys think of this video is more of a discussion of like what we think what we can expect not really of like a full like trailer breakdown but i mean just something fun to do fun to discuss with you guys so are you guys excited for this i get call of duty every year so i assume like mostly every call of duty fan usually does some people are like nah, i'm not getting this year i'm getting like battlefield or something different i don't know but um I'm gonna end the video off there like, like, and subscribe for more content like this. We'll see you guys next time. Peace out.